What it is about these ribs is they're so Moorish. They've got this distinct sweet and sour flavor. The ribs take in a sweet aroma of star anise, cinnamon, you know, those sort of classic Chinese five spice, whole spices. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday. I'm Jeremy from School of Wok in Covent Garden, and I can't wait to get cooking. First things first, I'm gonna put quite a lot of ginger into this. So you want nice, fine slices of ginger. You can see that's plenty of ginger. Half for my poaching, and the other half for later on. Some garlic. Again, you can use a fair amount of garlic. You know, we can flavor the poaching liquid with some pretty much whole cloves of garlic and just pop them in there. If you want to bash them a little, just to open up flavor, you can. And then a few cloves for the braising stage as well. With the braising garlic, just a rough chop will do. And that can go alongside your sliced ginger. And then you want a good sort of four or five spring onions. Rough chunks of spring onion. Try and keep it on the table. You're gonna use half for your braising, half for your poaching. We've noticed quite a lot of comments in one of our videos about me using garlic skins and onion skins to flavor stock. And people are quite averse to it, but actually there's a lot of flavor in your garlic skins, which is why I'm keeping the skins on the garlic for my poaching liquid. So I'm gonna start poaching the pork ribs in a nice sort of aromatic stock. So you wanna get your ginger in first and you wanna sear it nicely for a good sort of minute or so before you get your garlic and spring onion in. Right now we're just sort of flavoring the oil before I get the rest of the spices in. Once your ginger's sort of starting to brown, then you can get your star anise, bay leaves, and then your cinnamon stick. This one's pretty huge, so I'm gonna break that up a little. And then just give that a stir, and pretty much immediately you'll get this sort of hit of that sweet aroma from those spices. I'm gonna get my liquid in in a second once my ginger has got that nice golden brown color around the edge. Next up, we're gonna pour a whole load of Shaoxing rice wine into this hot pan, and that should just lift all the so sweetness and anything that's sort of stuck to the bottom of the pan. Straight away. And you get this hit of rice wine. I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons of light soy into that as well. And then that'll come up to a boil quite quickly. So I'm gonna add a whole load of chicken stock into here. Bring that to a boil. And then I'm gonna add my pork ribs. My pork ribs. I've actually asked the butchers to cut this sort of almost bite size. You don't have to do this, but this is sort of the more traditional way. So you can have like one piece at a time, you know, quite easily and you can share it out nicely. You know, you could just get normal pork ribs, cut, you know, individually one piece at a time. That, that works too. Sometimes like if you are sort of a traditional Chinese mum, then you would definitely blanch your pork ribs first in just water for about three or four minutes, take them out, uh, give them a quick wash and then put them into this liquid. But for me, to be honest, we're poaching this and then we're gonna put this in, we're gonna cook this into a braising liquid anyway, later on. So I'll give them a quick wash and clean in between the poaching and the braising. So we're gonna bring that to a boil and then down to simmer for 45 minutes. So next up, You've got loads of time because, you know, whilst it's poaching, you don't really have to do too much more. But I've got my sort of main ingredient here, my Qingqiang black vinegar. And it's a rice vinegar that may, is made from a black rice husk. Put some dark soy, so there's about four tablespoons of dark soy sauce in there. And that will help to really caramelize this sauce, along with some more Shaoxing rice wine. That's so that when it hits the wok, you get this sort of immediate aroma of the rice wine. And then this stuff here, which I'll leave till actually cooking in the wok, that's rock sugar. Kind of looks almost crystally. And what we want for this is to, for the rock sugar to melt into the sauce and create this really lovely syrupy texture. So these pork ribs had a good amount of time. Actually, I've gone for over an hour 
a minimum of 45 minutes and they'll get really nice and succulent. In fact, I'll show you now how soft this is. You, you can literally, it will fall off the bone and with a spoon, you'll be able to cut through it. At this point, you could just sieve this out. Don't waste the stock. Use that for soup or something like that, anything on the side. But we're gonna make the sauce in the wok and we're gonna start to finish this. I'm gonna just add a little bit of oil to my wok to sear my fresh ginger, garlic, and spring onion. Ginger in. Now remember, all these flavors have gone into the poaching liquid already, so pork would have taken in quite a lot of that flavor from that stock, and it's almost like the poaching is the marinating process. Sear that well. Once it starts to brown, then you can add your spring onion and your garlic chunks. Fold that through. You don't want your garlic to burn, so you're looking at about 30 seconds to a minute of just stir frying that. Your wok will still look and be pretty hot, so just go careful, but you're gonna pour your sauce around over the top of those spices. Now lift all the sort of ginger and spring onion garlic oil off the bottom of the wok. Now bring it up to a boil, and we'll, we'll go for one of these sort of chunks of rock sugar first to melt, start to melt that through. Once your rock sugar's been in there for about a minute, then you should be able to just sort of crack it open just to allow it to melt a little bit quicker. It's important to keep stirring this sauce through so it doesn't burn around the edges. Then you wanna get your ribs into that caramelizing sauce. And I don't mind if I've got a few of the herbs and spices sort of finding their way into this either. You know, it's all part and parcel of the same dish. My ribs there, nice and succulent. I'm gonna soak up that braising liquid over the next sort of five, 10 minutes of just bubbling that sauce away and stirring it through gently. I'm just folding from underneath so that every rib gets a good bit of that sweet sour flavor. My mouth is watering. It's a type of dish that you want to guard for your life and not let the cameraman close to. Mmm, sweet, tin to sour, but the unique flavor of the Chinkiang black vinegar. That is amazing. What's great about it is the subtle flavor from the poaching of all of those things in that poaching liquid really sort of penetrated meat. That is awesome. If there's a favorite sort of slow cooked meaty dish that you guys like to cook, let us know in the comments below and we'll try and make our own version of it. More importantly, don't forget, if you wanna learn more about Asian cuisine, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all the things. Ding, hit that notification bell and you can get pork ribs just like me.